Congratulations, you won five games here. Uh, you stopped on the sixth one. Uh, can you sum up uh, your your journey in the, in the US Open so far this year? Because it's been your best yeah. result, third round. Yeah. Uh, it's definitely been an interesting journey. Um, also, I've been here for a while now, so that's very positive. I think um, the good thing is that I feel like I've seen a lot of improvement in my level, and I didn't have any expectations at the beginning of the tournament. And I think, okay, today wasn't maybe one of my best matches, and okay, her level was better than mine. But um, I think it's positive in a way because I saw a little bit how much I can do already, but also how much work I have still left to do. Mm -hmm. This was your third game, if I if I uh, recall correctly, uh, against Iga. And yes. The first one was 1-2. You won the first set, and then you lost that number two. And then French Open lost two yeah. more. And then you, so, so how would you progress? How would you t what's the difference between uh, uh, you know those three games? How do you see yourself and, and, and her progression? I mean, obviously, I watched also our matches from the last the last times. Um, she played, I think, the best today from all the matches. She didn't let me breathe at all. Um, of course, the conditions are different here. It's a little bit faster. It's not clay. And, but I think, from my part, uh, I think I'm stronger in many ways. Um, I think, I think you can see Gus' progression like it was because I mean, she's not number one for nothing, you know. Um, from my part, I think that I've been struggling a bit with other things, or I had to deal with other things more in these last years than just the tennis part. Um, but I have to say that now, from today, I think I can take some positives and I think now I can finally say okay I have time to really focus on my tennis especially in the next few months I hope that we're gonna do a really good preseason working on things that I saw like needed improvement today and hopefully I can compete also on this highest level at this point because I mean I from the result part it looked very far away and also I could see that maybe I'm not confident in some parts in my game, but I think it's not something that we can not work on a lot um, when we have time and I'm happy with my coach and I'm happy with my team. So I think I can get only stronger from here. Go ahead. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Um, but that confidence is building back with you getting to another third round at a slam and progressing that way. When you were able to get that game and your reaction towards the crowd and <laughs> how, you know, Iga's being a mean bestie towards you, but getting that moment at the very least, just the whole joy that you felt at least just to get that in the crowd giving you the love there. Yeah, I mean, I think it's sort of like the moments you live for a little bit, like you want to be there and also enjoy the moments a little bit. I mean, she was really killing me at one point, so... I mean, you know, sometimes you can either cry or laugh, and I went for the laughing part, so I just thought it was, like, um, the first game that she gave me a few mistakes, which um, I thought it was just a nice sort of moment to take it with a little bit of humor, and, and I think the people felt it too, and it's, it's I think it's really special that, like, of course... It's not the way that I want it to be usually. I don't want to have to fight for one game only in the match. Um, but I think it's this sort of way that you're able to like, enjoy the big stadiums and work with the crowd a little bit. And I think this is the part that like, you have to have if you want to be a really great player. And I think this can only give me positive experience for the future. Does she owe you for dinner in terms of the next time when you have dinner and how she's been a real friend for you and especially through everything that you've gone through over the last year. Just talk about how she truly has been there for you with the thoughtful person that she is as well as probably owing you dinner on this one. Um, I mean, I think it's 
been both ways a little bit, you know. I think also, obviously, I don't share everything with the social media and I think Iga also doesn't share everything with the social media. So I think it's just this part that you can have somebody on the tour that, of course, you know, it's different when we are playing and I absolutely... I'm not the kind of person that takes the court stuff in the locker room, you know. For me, it's like you try to win and you do your best, but when you're on the court, it's your job, and when you're off the court, it's normal again. So I think this part that you can sort of normalize this tour, you know, in a way that you have the ability to... You have a chance to hang out with some people that you like, even if you have to play against them, is is what is special and she understands and I think I understand even if maybe like she is not uh, sometimes struggling on the lower level like I was or I'm not yet on the top or winning um, Grand Slams like her but we can find each other somewhere in the middle and I think that's really cool. I don't know if you realize but uh, I'm Polish obviously and you, you're very well known. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I wanted to ask about. Uh, she said, I don't know if you heard uh, what she said at, uh, at the post, uh, post game interview on, on the court, but she said, I don't have a lot of friends. Uh, <laughs> I asked the best one. Yeah. Um, so just wanted to ask, how did it begin? Because uh, I spoke to, to your, your, uh, your countrymates here, and they said that when, once you guys met, you guys clicked. So what made you click with, with Iga and how, how this friendship uh, evolved? I mean, I mean, it's it's going pretty far back. I think we were like fourteen, thirteen, playing the European Championships. Um, we sort of started, you know, you you talk about playing doubles once, and then we played um, doubles on junior tour tournaments a bunch of times. Um, I think she just has really good energy. I think she doesn't change who she is. I mean, at least not considering the situation. Um, I think, you know, I I sort of like people who are unique and, and are not afraid to be who they are. And she has some interesting tastes in, you know, music and in other things, uh, which she doesn't think are weird, <laughs> you know. <laughs> um, and it's the same for me. And I just think it's not just in tennis, but everywhere it's, nice to find people that you can trust and that you know like no matter what happens sort of you stick with them and they stick with you and I think I mean we're pretty loyal to each other in in other terms and I feel pretty protective of her um, also with everything but on the other hand it's like I'm trying to take her only as my friend like as well as I have friends at home and I'm I want to be, you know, to look at her like, okay, you're my friend. And today when I was playing her, it was like, okay, it was not my friend, it was like another player and she beat me really bad and that's it. And now I have my friend here and that's it, you know. Well, on behalf of the whole Poland, last, last thing, um, on behalf of the whole Poland, I want to thank you for, for your friendship, for, uh, <laughs> you mean a lot to her, <laughs> you mean a lot to her, then you mean a lot to us. So thank you so much. Well, thank you to Poland. <laughs> the, uh, I just want to ask about, <clears throat> we're pretty far now into the season. It's a long season, not a lot of downtime, not a lot of off season. Mm. Uh, f for you, when you get to this point of the year, would you say the uh, bigger struggle is with mental or physical fatigue by now? I mean, generally, I would say that that uh, it's harder mentally, like considering that the season is like it's the last Grand Slam, it's the last sort of push of the season. It's only two months or so. But for me, I have to say, because I didn't have a really normal season this year, and I did take a break for around a month, um, somewhere in between, um, and. That was my mental break, sort of, that I really needed. Um, 
and since then I've been feeling better mentally and also I was struggling with playing two matches in the beginning of the year, you know, before qualifying for Wimbledon, we were talking with my coach and I had this feeling like along with the grieving process and everything that like just having energy on two matches alone, three or four felt really impossible and I think I can slowly see and I think you can see on the results that I'm okay physically now with playing more matches and especially mentally I'm feeling better with more matches. So for me the season is getting better and I skipped the preseason last year um, a little bit due to other reasons and now I feel like I'm getting more motivation to train and to play than before. So from my part I would say it's a little bit different but I mean... For me, I think the last three years have been a bit unusual. Um, and for other players, I would say, and for me normally, I would say that at the end of the season is like a big mental push to do, to finish. And, and you, Last question in English. Yeah. And just you and Tamara, both on the comeback trail, really, and just the talents that you offer Slovenia, can you just talk about the bond that you have with her and how you two are still so talented and have so much tennis in front of you? Yeah, I mean, you know, I often sort of have this feeling people are like um, feeling like we don't support each other, you know, like sometimes in tennis, you know, like we're such competitors and you don't want to talk to each other in the locker room, not just like with uh, obviously more people from our country you do talk, but also from others. And I, and I just never felt that, you know, and also... You know, in Wimbledon, I played with Tamara and I felt also a little bit sad that she couldn't qualify, even though that we played against each other, you know. So it was like, OK, one of us has to win, you know. And I mean, we've played quite a few Fed Cups, I mean, Billie Jean King Cups so far. And I think we connected quite a lot. I mean, I always want really the best for her. Um, you know, maybe it's different in Slovenia because we're so small, you know, and I have sort of this feeling like we have to support each other because there are not so many of us and to be on this high of a level, um, one or two or three players from any country is already hard, but from our country with two million people, it feels like an incredible achievement. So. I've always believed in her level and when she reached the semi-final of the French Open I was so so happy for her because I thought that she played amazing and was a really good experience and now I still think that her level is there she was so close to qualifying um, I think she belongs also much higher and you can see that also her results now are getting better I think she started working with Blaš Kaučić, one of the ex-players from Slovenia, and they have great energy, so I, I'm sure she will get a lot of confidence with that.